Hello, and thanks for joining us for another Tech Talk today. You know, it's hard to believe that the dominant technology we use to view brilliant, lifelike images on glass screens was developed 50 years ago. You know, of course, I'm talking about liquid crystal displays or LCDs. LCD technology has revolutionized the way we watch TV, use computers, and connect with friends and colleagues. And speaking of which, in the era of social distancing and remote work, I'm joined by video conference to one of Corning's resident experts on emerging display trends. Dr. Lori Hamilton is commercial technology director of our display business and joins me from our display application lab in Sullivan Park, our research center. Lori, hey, thanks for being here today. It's good to see you, Anne. Great to see you. You know, you and I know that life and work as we know it would not be the same without LCD technology, but the industry is always looking for the next big thing. So what emerging display technologies is Corning pursuing? Before talking about emerging technologies, I'd like to talk about LCD, as that is, and we forecast will continue to be the dominant display technology. Panel makers have done incredible innovations in terms of performance. They've increased size well past what was thought to be the 40 inch size barrier. They've enabled very thin and narrow bezel and made TVs as thin as a smartphone. So LCD has done incredible innovation, but that's not all we look at. We also look at OLED display technology. Yeah, so let's dive more into the different features of LCD and OLED. Can we start with the technology behind LCD? Sure, in an LCD, a backlight emits light that goes through two pieces of glass that sandwich a liquid crystal layer. When an electrical current is applied to the liquid crystal layer, it allows light to pass through in that area. So LCD is termed a transmissive display technology as it transmits light. The laptop that I'm using today to talk with you is an example of an LCD display. And you look crystal clear on my screen. Now, what's the difference between LCD, that technology, and OLED? OLED, organic light emitting diode displays, are an example of an emissive display technology. In an OLED display, an electronic voltage is applied to the OLED materials, which then prompt them to emit light. This is done at a pixel level. An OLED display example may be seen behind me in the OLED TV. Got it. So the technologies are different, but how do they compare from a market share perspective? LCD by far is the dominant display technology. In 2019, OLEDs accounted for just 1% of the TV sell-through. While we expect both LCD and OLED to continue to improve in terms of performance and cost, we expect that LCD will continue to dominate for large area display technology. Corning's product offering for LCD displays is Eagle XG. Eagle XG is the most widely adopted substrate across the industry. Recently, we celebrated an important milestone of selling more than 25 billion square feet. Yeah, 25 billion square feet, that's a lot. So how are we positioned for the improvements in OLED technology? Today, OLED displays represent approximately 30% of the viewing area of small displays such as those in this smartphone. We placed our bets on OLED more than five years ago when we developed a glass called Lotus NXT. And today we enjoy high market share with that glass. So we are well positioned for the transition in small size displays from LCD to OLED. But I should highlight that we expect the overall impact to the glass display market to be minimal as this transition is happening for small area displays. Sure, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And what about larger size OLED displays? As the OLED TV market grows, we're prepared to grow with it. Recently, we announced a new glass, Astra, that was specifically designed for oxide and OLED backplanes. It's well suited for displays such as high resolution tablets, 8K TVs, and other applications. Here to my left is an example of an 8K TV. With our portfolio of three product offerings, Eagle, Astra, and Lotus, we feel that we are well positioned to meet the demands of the display industry, from large to small area displays, thin, narrow bezel, and high resolution, as well as future trends, we believe we have the right glass. 
All right, so we've covered LCD and OLED, but can you tell us about the other technologies on the horizon? You know, I've seen a lot of exciting news coverage about quantum dot displays and micro LEDs. What are they? Let's start with quantum dot or QD displays. There are many different versions of QD displays, from an LCD with a quantum dot film employed in the backlight to emerging emissive QD displays. QD displays can provide brighter whites and blacker blacks, so it's an exciting technology trend. We believe this is a real opportunity for Corning as emissive quantum dot displays require two pieces of glass, one for the TFT substrate and another for the color filter or color conversion substrate. These QD displays offer the benefits of OLED in terms of thin form factor, wide viewing angle, deeper blacks, but also will provide enhanced color performance and efficiency. So we're excited about this opportunity for quantum dot displays. While we expect it will initially emerge in the premium and niche segment, it's still an exciting opportunity for Corning as we believe we have the right glasses for those two substrates. Two times the glass sounds great for the display business, but how real would you say this opportunity is? While emissive QD displays are relatively new and expected to enter into the premium niche segment, we're confident that we have the right glasses for this application, and we're encouraged by the fact that this design requires two glass substrates. And then how about micro LED? What can you tell us about that technology? Micro LED is also an emissive display technology. In this design, small size LEDs of red, green, and blue are used to create an image with very bright colors, enhanced color gamut, and very deep blacks. Another interesting aspect of micro LED displays is the tiling to create large size such as those in public signage applications. In this mosaic or tiling, glass plays a very important role as it's important to have a seamless visual experience. Glass and glass processing can allow the electronics that drive the panel to be printed along the edge, thereby enabling a larger viewing experience in the tile. Right, so large public information displays makes me think about like Times Square. Now, you've shed light on what makes glass ideal for micro LED. Could you share more about what makes Corning uniquely positioned to meet this demand? Glass made by the fusion process of which Corning was the inventor provides a very smooth and dimensionally stable surface on which to transfer these micro LEDs of sizes 50 microns or smaller. This greatly improves the manufacturing efficiency of the micro LED display process. Like emissive quantum dot displays, we expect micro LED displays to enter in the niche premium segment. But again, we believe that we have the right glass for the job. So after learning more about these innovations and opportunities, it also sounds like Corning continues to be advantaged in the display industry because of our proprietary fusion platform. Exactly. And today we've only just taken a glimpse at some of the emerging display technologies. Corning has a proven track record of making wise and calculated decisions on which technologies in which to invest. We're excited about the many opportunities of innovation happening in display. We're committed to work with our customers to solve the tough challenges that lay ahead and we will work to continue to be the leading supplier of glass substrates for the display industry. Thanks, Lori. I really appreciate you taking the time to walk through this today. You know, our financial results have painted a picture of a profitable business that's mature and aging gracefully. And yet, there are still so many opportunities around the corner. Thank you for having me, Anne. Thanks again, Lori. And for those of you who'd like more information on Corning's display business, feel free to visit corning.com slash display. And thank you all for joining us.